Hello folks and welcome back to Production Line. In our last episode here, let's take a look and see what all we did. Uh, we can take a look. We restarted our line here because we had previously removed that conveyor to stop that because we had this enormous backlog of cars right there, uh, which we got kind of taken care of. Now we're restarting production and uh, should get that all figured out here shortly. Uh, and we also expanded this a little bit and then we also took care of our defects area where we have one now. Uh, so we're not sending out any defective cars. Uh, we currently research wise are researching air conditioners, which is great. Uh, but our big thing that we researched last time in our specializations was paint specialization, which unlocks four new things for us uh, that we are going to buy on here. And then this whole paint area can become a thing of the past. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that here today. We have a million dollars in cash right now. So we're going to go through and purchase our first little extra area. Uh, this is the Pasta Planet, which apparently exists next to a car manufacturing facility. So we're going to purchase that. We're going to expand here. And we have our very first area coming in. Now this spot's kind of impressive because it has all of these entry points in. Uh, we're not going to need too many of those, I don't think, for paint. but. It's nice to have them for other things because we can run more lines down here and get hopefully some faster shipping going on with that. So let's go over and take a look at our paint area. We have our undercoat, which is going to be uh, three minutes and 57 seconds. We're outputting a car every two minutes or so, so probably two or three of those is gonna be more than enough to carry us over uh, and probably enough to, uh, let's go here. We want paint undercoat. All right, so we can see what they look like here. So I'm gonna put on one, two, three, and that's gonna be hooked up to a importer. And we're just gonna run that straight over here. For some reason, this game doesn't like you to drag them across like that, that's fine. All right, so let's go back and take a look at our conveyors. So it's gonna come in here and go down that way, and we can have it go across each one of these as necessary. I do want to leave a little room for future expansion to come out and we're going to leave space over here because we don't want to interfere with that. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put on our dry undercoat. Now that's supposed to take 12 minutes, so super long time. Uh, that means for every one of these, we need to have three of these roughly. So let's take a look and see what we could do to speed this process up and uh, what's going to be best for us here. So I'm going to do something like this. Uh, and I'll explain this here in just a second. I'm gonna continue this conveyor over. Uh, let's see, it's, it's one, two, it would be right there and that's the only last one we could fit. That's gonna be three wide. Uh, so, our dry undercoat. We're gonna fill this up as much as possible. I think we're only gonna be able to get those ones done there. And the idea here is that we'll have this go up. We'll connect these over. And then we can go up and around here and come back down to that side. So the idea is cars are going to come in, go down here, get one of those three paint booths to start off with. After they come out of there, they'll go through the drying process. Uh, and really what we could do if we wanted to, uh, instead of going that way, we could go across the top, which I think I actually might want to do. Uh, because I'm going to probably add on another one of these. So. These guys are all gonna come out and they're gonna go up to the top. That would be another set. And let's get another section of the dry undercoat. So. And again, I'm, I'm planning for expansion here. Um, this is a lot to add on for what we currently are producing, but I don't wanna build myself into a corner right out of the gate here. Oh, I could have, hold on. I could have put those one closer, so let's move all of that stuff. What am I doing here? Terrible decisions have been made. <laughs> so let me go back and redo this. All right, let's try this again. Dry undercoat can get output right there. Dry undercoat. Dry undercoat, and then we'll flip it around and do the same thing right here. And we'll go up, get that one connected, that one connected, 
that one connect it. And then those guys will come up. And we still have over half this warehouse to take up with space. Our finished paint takes slightly longer than the undercoat, but not by a lot. So I think we're only going to worry about three of them right now. So one. Two. Three. And then we'll have that come down here. And again, we're going to do the same thing that we did with that with our dry finish. So one. Two, three, flip it around. One, two, three. I'll have that come up and over. Not that. And then that conveyor will come up as well, and then we'll put in another round of those coming this way. So dry finish, one, two, three, flip around, one, two, three. We have spent an enormous amount of money. I'm actually a little worried about how much money I just spent for all of that. But you can see that we have all of that hooked up now and we're going to save a little money here by removing all of this stuff. That should give us some cash back. And we're going to be sacrificing a few cars in our production to do this, but that's okay. So that conveyor will connect right to there. We need a resource importer. Have right there. That bad boy up. Beautiful. And uh, I guess we still need to keep this conveyor going. And then we can get rid of all of this stuff because we don't need it anymore. Also, gonna get rid of the old spots where the paint used to be. So, we're gonna bring that up and straight over into there. Now just trying to recoup some of our money. We were down at like 140 something thousand and because we're taking our time and deleting all this stuff, all these conveyors are worth lots of money. So we're getting some cash back, which is a nice change. And I don't think we have to sacrifice too many car productions to get all of that done. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. We also freed up one of our importers here for to do more stuff potentially if we needed to. So we're back up at almost a quarter of a million dollars. Feeling much better about that. And I want to get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So we're going to unpause that. Uh, we are now having that stuff come up. These guys are getting their resources and we have a couple more spray boosts ready to go. So our finished paint and then our, this is our paint undercoat. And hopefully here we'll have cars flying through this faster than what they did previously. You can see it takes up a whole lot more space, but we should be able to really maximize production here pretty nicely. Uh, we are losing significant sums of money. Uh, so I'm going to slow the game down a little bit here and we need to we need to uh, decrease the price of our car by a lot to sell out. We have 36 cars in inventory right now. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when your goal is to sell 3,000 cars or to make 3,000 cars, um, yeah, you need to do some stuff. So we're going to continue to reduce that price. Don't really care about the economics of that right now. We just need to get cars off the lot to get money in our pocket. It looks like we're doing what we need to do to survive right now. All right, we unlocked uh, a completely new slot. Uh, okay, so we'll be able to choose it from the new slot thing. And if we take a look here, it's in the accessories. We have air conditioner, 
and we could actually even make the air conditioner. That's kind of cool. Uh, but we can see that cars are freely moving through our factory. It doesn't look like they're ever really getting to that third one, which is great. As one clears, they go through there and uh, yeah, we're doing exactly what we need to do here to move along. Now we have our engine specialization, so things are gonna ramp up, but before we ramp stuff up too much, we need to start making some money. So we're at 13, I'm gonna increase the price of the cars about $1,000. We change prices in this game uh, for our stuff almost more than Tesla does in real life. So <laughs> it's kind of uh, fun to see what we're doing here. But we're back up to over half a million dollars by selling a whole bunch of inventory, uh, which is what we really needed to do. And it's very fun to watch all the cars do this dance through here. You can see we have, this is probably our slow up right there. Yeah, I know I have to keep an eye on everything. Um, all right. So we have our big slowdown right here now. Um, this is our next area that we need to solve. And I think before we properly solve that, we're just gonna add in another spot here to do more with. So we have new engine stuff, all of that's new, and then our accessories, all of that is new. We still don't have fit dashboard though, but we just researched that. Okay, and look at us, we're moving towards, uh, okay. So we're gonna add the accessory. We want to have the dashboard specialization, same with the electronic specialization, and I don't think we need to manufacture any of this stuff yet. And then we can go on with that. This increases, wow. Um, and we're just trying to get stuff going a little better here so we can get things going faster. Uh, and our marketing department could be a big help as well, but we're not gonna worry about that quite yet. So we have actually sold, how many cars do we have so far sold? We've sold 800 cars in four days. We need to pick that up, but we need to obviously make more cars before we can really do that. And hopefully as we uh, are able to set this thing up, we are able to produce even more cars. You can see there's not really many slots that are free at this point. Uh, we are waiting for a lot of resources from that. So maybe we could bring this one over at some point, but I don't know if that's the best, what the best option is at that point for everything. Um, okay, so we have tires researched. And I'm gonna increase the price again here. Another thousand dollars because we're not keeping cars in the showroom right now. So every time we're really reacting to that showroom price, especially because we're not making a lot of money right now. And it's a little worrying. Um, we don't have a lot of money. We Oh, we do actually still have a lot of money. We need to owe on that. I know we're only taking one still have a car. I would like to produce more. Um, where in our research is body design? Okay, so we're gonna add that to our queue and maybe we'll be able to produce some additional styles of car. And you can see that we are backing up big time now. Our slowdown is this spot right here. We actually are keeping a decent line that that spot. And I think a lot of our problem is waiting for resources here, so. We'll have to figure that out a little bit later uh, as far as what the best option is for all of that. But maybe in the meantime, we can bring a conveyor over to say there and just help out. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I was worried there for a second that wasn't gonna do anything. But look at this. I mean, we have cars just flying off the shelves waiting to get sold here. And I think we're gonna have to shut down production again for a little bit. So let's remove our favorite spot right there. We'll shut down production a bit. All right, we're still selling cars like crazy. So I'm gonna increase the price a good bit.
and looking at our stuff, we're getting 12 out an hour and our defects have gone down significantly. We're down to two an hour. If you remember, we're up at like nine or 10. So we're doing good there. Uh, da, 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 da. We've drastically increased the number of uh, employees we have with all the paint booth stuff, but that's okay. And uh, our slots running is down to 50% because we have a whole production line that's shut down essentially because we have a backlog of cars that goes forever. So I really like this. I like how compact this is uh, as far as we can have cars come in and we could have another line if we wanted to have them come in and go on the same thing. Um, they go in, they have plenty of space to go through here, go through another spot, plenty of space to go through here. Our jam up right now is not us, it's the, uh, well, it is us, but our jam up here is all the way down here, not anywhere else. Uh, so as we uh, continue to roll through and produce our cars, uh, hopefully we will be getting in better shape here. Uh, we keep getting new loans. Um, that one is attractive right now, um, but it's it's actually a lower interest rate. And yeah, we're gonna accept that loan and then we are going to repay that one early. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Uh, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it's a little bit better than what we had before. This makes me excited right here that we have one, two, three, four of these that are not being used. That's exciting for a lot of reasons, but this entire area, basically from this line down over here is all gonna be for engine fitment. We could add another line if we wanted to with this, and then over here, this can be our accessories area, and then everything gets sold right through there. Eventually, that's where we're going. It's not there yet, but that's where we wanna go. Uh, so keeping a look on our budget, we're at 1.3 million. I just wanna kinda of keep that in mind as we move through here. Uh, and good, we're getting some more stuff here that's gonna help us out. Uh, da, da, da. I think, where was... Marketing is also going to get added on there as is a maintenance department because eventually the machines actually start breaking and we need to plan for that a little bit. Uh, taking a look at our engine stuff. So let me slow down the game here. We have the powertrain. So that's not too bad. It's two minutes. The radiator is three minutes. Exhaust is three minutes. The wheel. Okay, we can knock that down pretty easily. And the steering assembly stuff fit steering wheel wow that's five minutes okay that one takes a little while but we should be able to knock down the process here from 22 minutes down to like three minutes like three minutes and 12 seconds i think is the highest number that we have here so we should be able to do that pretty easily the question is do we take the time now to start building that out or do we kind of pump the brakes and uh, wait a second i'm tempted to start building that now and just see what we can do. Let's pause it and see what we have here. So if we fit the powertrain. Start off maybe there or start off there and build outwards. Let's just see what this looks like. We'll make like a test line here. So we have the fit powertrain, it's two minutes. Fit radiator. Fit exhaust, the wheel stuff, so we have brakes, followed by wheels, followed by tires. We have our steering assembly. The steering wheel, for whatever reason, takes a long time, so that's gonna be a dual thing. And then that can all output over to the accessories area. So it's actually not that bad of a line to have here. And I'm just gonna bring that down here. Uh, right there, okay. So we'll bring that over. Let's bring it over one more just so it lines up with the possibility of being integrated into all of that. All right, the next problem we need to take care of here is our resource conveyor. This one cannot connect to all of that. So we need to get rid of that.
all of this is going to be a hot mess if we let this resource conveyor do that stuff. So this one is going to get entirely removed. I really hate that I can't delete just the conveyor. There might be an option to do that, but I don't know what it is. I love all these things just hanging out in midair <laughs> as we remove stuff. They're still there. We can see all the parts. You have the rims, you have the brakes, you have the radiators. There's an engine with its control unit. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that's just hanging out doing its thing. So we're going to let this all kind of exist farther out there for just a second. Okay. We have all that. This resource conveyor. Let's see. All right. So this one's actually going to be an additional one coming this way and then coming up. And then this one right there is going to be there. So now these two lines will feed this whole area. And then we can have this guy feed just this one for right now. So resource importer is going to go there. We will capture all of these items. Let all of that stuff start coming in. And then we're going to have another one appear off of there and just try to clear out some of that inventory. And this is just going to be a test to see how all this goes. And one thing we're going to do is upgrade all of these things. So they all have upgrades available to them. And we're going to see how fast this line of cars gets put out compared to another line that we have right now. Just filling up all of the stuff and then we'll see how we do. We'll also find out real fast if we messed up anything or forgot something. Uh, I would love to upgrade that, but not for almost $400,000 right now. So we can kind of see that this line keeps moving. And we should be able to just put like two of these and supply what all of this does without any issue. And then we're gonna have a big backlog when it comes to the accessories area. Um, but I'm going to remove that as an option. So that area there is not going to be something we do anymore. And honestly, we don't even need to have all of this. We can just have it come straight out here. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, so that's all just gonna go there. And that should be fine. Yes, sir. All right, let's get this restarted here. We're back at our 1.3-ish million dollars. All of this is going to go away. And then we can start supplying even more stuff is very exciting. And you can see we're actually, I mean, there's a big backup in the accessories area, which is fine. Um, Kind of going through and doing all of our thing here. So we're going to prefer local. And factory wide settings are prefer local. So that means that anything that we produce is going to prefer it was locally made, not an imported item. And the best thing about selling all this stuff is that we get a whole bunch of money back. So we're at 1.7-ish million dollars and it's given us a chance to clear out some of our inventory because we have a lot of inventory right now.
All right, so what's gonna happen here, I think, is that we will have one of these lines be for, because we basically are gonna have three con uh, of these overhead conveyor lines being able to feed different stuff. So this inside one here, this first one, that's gonna feed this first half. This one's gonna feed the last half. And then hopefully we'll have a really nice productive setup here. Have that going there. The resource conveyor. Again, we're trying to just maximize everything right now. So that's going to feed that area. And then that resource conveyor. Feed those. And these actually don't even give us any money back, but it just makes me feel better. It's not, not as cluttered. Oh my, we have lots of cars for sale. So this game requires that you pay attention to a lot of stuff. I guess like the real car market, things change uh, early and often, and you just kind of got to pay attention to what's going on with each thing. Um, and you can see that this is not going to be enough production for us to keep up here. We are producing more cars, I think, than what we were before. But with that one line, we're doing a good job, but not good enough. So, whoa, it's, we need to sell some cars here. And once we have some more cars sold, we will consider using these other two importers and this one to feed that line. You can see the backup's not quite as bad as it was before. These are moving more regularly than what they were before, but we're gonna now run into the backup over here where the accessories just can't keep up. So we are selling more cars, looks like, but we're also exporting them. More, yeah, we're up to 14 an hour now. I just need that number to start going down. We, are, we keep getting new loans. Um, this one was actually cheaper than the last one, so that's good. And I know that we are exceeding that, but we're bringing the cost down. And we're going to also start adding on a whole bunch of new options here. Once we have the body design and a couple other things, um, I don't think we're going to go through and do more stuff yet. But this is nice that we have early stop consumption is awesome. Um, that one allows reorders to start, not at the end of the production cycle, but as soon as they're used, they start coming in, which is great. Uh, I would love to start manufacturing all this stuff, but we just don't have the space for it right now, and uh, we don't have the budget for it. What we do need to do, though, is start getting some of these uh, other items taken care of. So we're going to start adding some of these items that are slowly filtering down to other areas. They're going to start becoming part of our budget car, which is going to increase the cost of production of our car, but should bring them down overall. And you can see we're actually backing up all the way out here, so we are doing a decent job with this area. This is our next uh, kind of adventure right here. So if I were to buy that, uh, our rental agreement signing cost is $40,000, hourly cost is that. Let's take a look and see real quick, before we do anything like that, uh, if we take a look at, we have lights, okay. We have horn, we have seats, windscreen's a longer one. Air conditioner is pretty fast. And then the dashboard is really quick. Wow. Why is that two things? I don't think that needs to be two things. Whatever. And then electronics is the last one here. Okay. So this area right here can very easily be, these guys can come off here, go straight down and do all of the stuff. Now we have the body design. So let's go in here and take a look. New facilities is the design studio and if we go over here now we have car designs um, now let's go back and pause the game real fast take a look at the market which is right there and we can kind of get a market analysis and see what's actually selling so budget pickup trucks are there budget ooh 
budget compacts. That's what I think we want. That's 9%. That makes up more than anything else. So uh, we're going to focus our research here on a compact. And we're going to research that right now. Because once we have that, I believe we'll be able to make a new style of car. And we can do some things with that. But first we need to sell more cars. <laughs> So I think we're gonna pause production again. Move our favorite spot. Cause we have we have 30 cars in the showroom and then we probably have another 50 cars throughout here, if not more. Uh, so that's a problem. We need to take some time and solve that. Um, but I'm excited by the possibility of, let me just draw in what I think I'm gonna want to do. So I'm gonna come straight down there. These guys are gonna exit off of there. There'll be another one coming right there. And then we're going to go in and get all of their accessories, their electronics, and then go out of the door. Because we actually have a little backup here of cars that are <laughs> waiting to be sold. Uh, if we were able to satisfy this, we'd get backed up by that right now. So that's an interesting problem uh, that we're running into here as well. Uh, we're doing a good job of starting to sell off some of our cars. We're at 22 cars, where we got 30 just a, a minute or so ago, and we're back up to almost a million dollars. So we're going to increase it by $500 and hopefully that number still keeps the drop and looks like it's stabilizing a little bit. But if we take a look at our market, you see there's nothing in there. Um, there's no uninstall features. There's nothing really in there. Uh, if we take a look at what's going on, 62% people are looking for a different body style and 10% uh, say it has insufficient features. So. We are going to have to focus on that a little bit more here very soon. Uh, it looks like we will have a, a bunch of stuff that we can do with that. And back here, um, like if we could bring like any lock brakes to a car that uh, doesn't have it, like you see how these have these on here? Um, that means people have already done that. So if we have ones that we can bring to a budget car that aren't there, um, that becomes much, much more valuable. So we're going to take a look here. We're gonna add like cruise control, power steering's already there. Uh, the driver airbag, that seems like it should be a pretty standard thing, but apparently it's not. Again, we're, we're selling a budget car, so we're not trying to look for crazy stuff. Like I would love to have a super fast electric powertrain. Yeah, that sounds great. I would love to get electric powertrain in there overall, but uh, that's not in the cards right now. We have just a million dollars. That's not a possibility. See the glut, uh, our last car coming down there. But you can see we did use all three, which is kind of impressive. And we have not filled up all of these to my knowledge. There we go. So we're gonna need to spend money on an additional line going through here. And then from that, it's going to go into our accessories area. And hopefully with those things, and I guess an electronics area as well. And then we should have most of this stuff satisfied. What is this? So there is a Marrakesh Fashion. This one over here is Herbie's Auto Spares. Love the names. Okay, and we are doing a great job of selling cars right now. So we're gonna increase the price a little bit, hopefully stabilize that number and be good. And then we can figure out what our next steps are. And we do have a new loan available to us. Okay, we got marketing. So we can't pay this one back. Oh, we actually can pay that back. We're not going to, but we could. Uh, what does marketing do for us? So facilities, marketing department, okay. Add on a marketing department. And inside of marketing, okay, so this allows us to go through, oh, I guess we have to research. So our brand awareness is kind of terrible at 1.82%, but uh, our perceived quality is 96%, so that's pretty good. But in research, I guess we need to research types of uh, marketing. So we have print marketing, Billboard marketing, and then, oh wow, 
can do social media, banner, sponsorships. Oh, look, there's football there. Uh, product placements. Okay, we can do lots of stuff there. Let's add that to the queue as well. That should take up some time. And again, we're selling all the cars that we're putting through here, which is great. We're back at that 1.3, 1.4 million dollar area. And we're kind of yo-yoing because right now, basically everything coming in is almost pure profit. Um, we've spent most of the money on all of these things already. Yeah, I know we need to produce more budget cars. We just don't have the capacity right now. So the next thing we need to figure out is what are we going to produce more of? Are we going to go down here and do accessories or put in another drivetrain area? I think I'm going to lean more towards the drivetrain area. Um, just real quick, I want to take a look at the convey or the resources. Okay, so I'm going to separate these by one just so that uh, these conveyors here or these importers can service just this line and then we'll have another line serviced by these three over here. Um, so let's go through and start that process. So we have our powertrain. After that, we have our radiator. Let me just pause this real fast just so that we have that. Then we'll fit our exhaust. The wheel assembly is going to be brakes followed by wheels followed by tires, which all makes sense. Then we have our steering wheel assembly, which is going to be our steering wheel column, and then followed by the fitting of the steering wheel which is going to be going... No, I can't have it go that way. Okay, so fit steering wheel, fit steering wheel. All right, so that all is going to go like that, like that, that out, and down there. All right, and then our resource importers. One, two, three of them. That one's gonna come there. That one is going to service those. And then this one is gonna come straight out and service this one and that. <laughs> That's so much fun to watch. Look at all that stuff coming out. We began uh, at our pricing point here as cars have become significantly more expensive these guys are gonna get robots one and robots two means we can speed up our production again but I, I don't want to do that currently because uh, it's gonna be too much money for us and that one's gonna be stuck in slot knots down because we're gonna go over here and do that next uh, but we need to wait to sell some cars as we continue to burn through money. I know we've checked the showroom. Just need to be fine. Cars out, aren't going out super quick. And we're gonna release, uh, take a look at our cars themselves here. We have sedan B1. We're going to come out with B2, which is going to be budget version 2. And uh, that should be able to help us out here. But we're already uh, doing a good job. We're just about 40% to our goal. Um, we're on day 6, so we definitely do need to pump everything up. But I'm feeling good because day 1 and or day 0, 1, 2, and 3, basically we sold like 100 cars. Uh, so that we're over 1,000 uh, in the next 3 days is pretty encouraging. And you can see that we are actually producing more power now than what we're using because we're not, we're only running this little area right here. So I'm pretty happy we added on this beautiful engine area. And then more importantly, we have this nice paint area established. It's gorgeous. I really dig it. And uh, I think that's going to wrap us up here for today because I want to do some more stuff, but I want to, I want to think about what we're going to do here. Uh, so I think that's going to do us for today, folks. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. We have maintenance departments now. We'll talk about that later. 
and I will see you in our next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.